I just want to go over this very quickly. Remember what I said about the beast being the New World Order Empire, the state, whereas the Antichrist is a man, the horn of the beast, yeah, on one of the heads of the beast. And it gets a little bit tricky. Uh, I mean, you have to interpret it that way for the beginning of Revelation 13 to make any sense. However, when you get to the end of Revelation 13, it gets a bit awkward. Because we have... And he exercised all the power of the first beast in his presence... And he caused the earth and those that dwell in it to worship the first beast, whose mortal wound was healed. He performs great miracles, makes fire come down from heavens to the earth in the sight of men. This can still be applied to the beast as the state, as the empire. Okay? <coughs> fire coming down from heaven could be talking about nuclear war here uh, <clears throat> but again this is the beast as a state as the state the fatherland yeah the fatherland and he deceives those that dwell on the earth by the miracles which it was given him to perform before the beast telling those that dwell on the earth to make an image of the beast which he had the wound with the sword and lived. This is where it gets tricky. An image of the state, an image of the fatherland, that mankind uh, will have to worship, otherwise he will be killed. Um, we may be talking about a flag here, an image of the New World Order Empire, okay? Uh, we may be forced um, to worship the beast empire yeah, with flags and so on um, posters, all this kind of propaganda propaganda promoting the fatherland and then also the antichrist <coughs> And it was given him to give a spirit to the image of a beast, that the image of a beast should both speak and cause that all who would not worship the image of a beast should be killed. Now I think what we're talking about here is television. Televised propaganda. And what is interesting about this is all of this happens in North Korea already. North Koreans have to watch five hours of television which promotes the state, the beast, and also the antichrists, those deceased North Korean presidents, and also the incumbent president of North Korea, or sorry, supreme leader, they call him, uh, Kim Jong-un. I think this is what we're talking about here. Indoctrination via television, yeah, everyone will be forced to watch the televised propaganda. And if they don't, they are killed. Exactly what happens in North Korea. This is a law. They have to watch the TV. They can turn it down, but they can't turn it off. And he caused all, small and great, rich and poor, and free men and servants to receive the mark on their right hand or on their forehead. <laughs> and that no one should buy or sell unless he had the mark, the name of the beast or the number of his name. This has already been implemented in the USA. It's an RFID microchip implant. Yeah. And this mark of the beast is a mark of the states, the nation, yeah? Not an individual, 
the beast as a nation, the fatherland. This is a biggie. you got to love this one. Here is wisdom. Let him that has a mind count the number of the beast, for the number is man's. It says man's. It doesn't say it is the number of a man or a number attributed to a man, uh, the name of that man. It says the number is man's. The number of man is six. And his number is 666. What I find very interesting here is this fictitious area code used in uh, movies in, in America, uh, 555, yeah, 555 probably heard it in, in the movies and so on. What is this? It's a number of the state, not a man, not a man of that state, not, not the Antichrist. It's a number of the state. It will be the uh, prefix yeah, to a personal uh, identification tag, a serial number, like what was issued to the prisoners of Auschwitz? Yeah, the prefix to an individual serial number. 555 in the movies, yeah. In Revelation, 666. And what does it represent? Not the Antichrist himself, but the state, the kingdom the empire, the new world order empire number being 666 the mark of the beast, the number of the beast Satan the fiery dragon in Revelation 13 what form does Satan take when he is let loose after the 1,000 year millennial reign of Christ in Revelation 20 verse 7 and 8 Gog and Magog I rest my case if the fiery dragon represents Satan then Satan on earth is Gog and Magog in Revelation 20. So in Revelation 13, Satan is also Gog and Magog, the communists of the East. They keep coming back. It's communism throughout Revelation. That is what we are talking about here. Nothing to do with a Pope, okay? Uh, a Pope isn't mentioned anywhere in the Bible. Many say he will be the false prophet, and that he is the false prophet, yeah, at the moment. Yes, he has spoke blasphemies against God. And he may be a false prophet. However... In Revelation 12 and 13, we are talking about communism. And as I've said before, the Pope isn't going to stand between them. Yeah? When we're talking about world domination, uh, we're talking about ruthless dictators taking over. Yeah? Not clergymen. <laughs> So, the fiery dragon, if we take it to mean Satan, Satan on the earth is Gog and Magog, the red dragon of the East.